up you guys so today we are going to be reviewing the matcha bar matcha before i start please like and comment this video and then subscribe to my channel that will really help me and my youtube channel if you like comment and subscribe let's get on with the video the matcha the matcha the matcha the matcha the matcha here's like my matcha makeup matcha bar so you probably have seen this on a sponsored ad or friends giving it or diplo looking at it and drinking it like what is matcha bar it's just another matcha company two guys created the matcha bar it's under the instagram it's called hustle but it's called matcha bar i found matcha bar through sponsored ads i looked into it and they have a bunch of matcha to offer different drinks and everything on the matcha bar website they say why drink it simple it's like drinking the nutrients of 10 cups of green tea in one serving why is matcha so good for you matcha green tea leaves are grown in the shade and trimmed young at their own nutrient dense stage then they are stone ground into a powder which is whisked into water so when you drink a matcha you're actually you're eating actual green tea leaves in other words matcha is a whole food two grams like a dose of matcha like one cup of matcha that you would get like at a store or a coffee shop or matcha shop is like 10 cups of antioxidants of loose tea loose leaf tea that also equals to caffeine of one shot of espresso and i know a lot of people like need caffeine to live on some people look for different alternatives matcha is a great alternative if you need break from coffee like i know i've been a big coffee drinker all my life and i'm like why is my anxiety so bad caffeine it's also not good for your stomach on matchabar.co that is their website they have a bunch of like history facts about matcha and green tea and how good it is for you what other like things they offer and stuff on the website so go ahead and go on their website and check it out if you have no idea what matcha is and you just want to get into it and you don't know what to get first i'm about to show you what you should get i ordered the matcha bar starter kit i've already used this but i just wanted to show you guys like how it came in the box here is the matcha starter kit it says here you get a matcha teaspoon a 30 gram tin of matcha, ceremonial grade, no sugar, and uh, electric matcha whisk. And I never had a whisk, so I just got that as well. It's a pretty good deal. So the starter kit is $54.99. There is a code. Use the code MATCHAFAM15. I think it's 15% off. That's what that means. This is not an ad. This is just me showing you like the love for matcha and matcha bar now some of you might be like that's a little expensive like i don't know i'm telling you it's worth it if you really get into matcha and you don't want sugar and you want the purest the purest the purest matcha to drink this is the kind of matcha you want to get so when you open the matcha kit it comes in like this looks really cute and colorful it comes with a really cute spoon it says matcha bar on here here's the matcha bar ceremonial grade matcha grown in japan and then this is the whisk and when i first opened this i was like why is this so big because <laughs> i know you can get some whisks that are way smaller than this but i didn't have one so i just got it and it just tells you like if you don't want to look it up it just says right here scoop one teaspoon of matcha whisk with one cup of water pour into a glass with your favorite milk enjoy the world's best matcha latte and there you go the end end of video no okay i'm gonna just show you the spoon this is like this is dirty because i've already used it so here's the spoon it's it just says matcha bar on it but it's cute teaspoon here is the whisk it comes with a USB charger and the instructions. This is how big the whisk is. You twist it, there it is. Might be a little dirty, but I've already used it and I clean it as much as I can. And it has two settings on the top for the button. Um, and then the USB goes in here. Come on. There's the USB. Here's the settings.
So pretty strong, doesn't take that long to charge. Milk frother. It has a light that's red and then when it's done, it's blue. Charging time about one and a half hours. And here is the matcha bar powder. And I've already went through this, but I have a scoop left just for you guys to show. I'll open it. Yeah, it's pretty empty right now, but <laughs> I'm gonna use probably this whole thing. I saved enough in here for you guys to see the matcha latte. On the website, it shows like how other matcha mixes have a lot of more sugar or they have other chemicals in it, or it's not as organic, um, it's not ceremonial grade. It depends what kind of matcha you're looking for. Like if you wanna go out to Starbucks or a local place to go get a matcha, that's totally fine. You're also not drinking coffee or another caffeine like energy drink or whatever. You're helping your body. Matcha is just a great like health alternative as well. Like I said, it has a lot of antioxidants. Green tea in general, not just matcha, but green tea is really good for you. So Google that. I'm gonna go ahead and make this matcha. So what I do normally is I put the matcha in a cup, the teaspoon in a cup. I put water in it and then I mix it for like a minute or two, making sure there's no like clumps or anything. I pour it into a cup of the milk that I have. Some people have it with ice, they make the matcha latte, they add sugar, whatever, because again, when you mix this matcha, it's gonna be a little bitter if you don't have sugar in it. So if you're used to drinking your coffee, matcha, green tea, any tea, whatever drink that you drink in the morning, day, night with sugar, you're gonna wanna add some sugar. Um, or if your milk has sugar in it, then that's fine as well. So let's get to it. I am going to get my teaspoon. A cute little teaspoon. And here, I literally have just like, enough. I might just pour the whole thing in here. Yeah. Okay, so I just put my matcha in here, about a teaspoon. I just finished the rest of my matcha. I'm gonna pour a little bit of water in here. It says a cup of water, but use as much as you want. The more water you put in, the less stick is gonna be when you add it with your milk or whatever you want. So here it is with just the water, not mixed. And now I'm gonna mix it. Here's that. It looks kind of gross with the chunks. You just wanna keep mixing it until like the chunks are gone. And then you can have the other setting higher if you want. So I'm gonna turn it off and see how it looks. It smells really good. You wanna like swirl it around, you wanna make sure it's down, otherwise it's gonna just blow up everywhere on your face. Okay, I think that's enough. You know what, I want some ice now. I changed my mind, I wanted to get some ice. So I'm making a matcha latte with ice, sugar, unsweetened almond milk. I would have got regular almond milk with the sugar, but that's just all I had. And the matcha, so let's do it. So I already have the matcha done. I got a thing of ice and I have some Fair Trade, Trader Joe's, raw cane sugar, you can use whatever sugar you want. You can use powdered sugar, you can use processed sugar, whatever you wanna do. This is just what I have in my kitchen. I'm not gonna measure, I'm just gonna pour a little bit in. So I'm just pouring some sugar in here. Well, actually, you should be pouring the sugar in the matcha. So I'm just putting my sugar in here and then I'm gonna have to mix it again. You can put the sugar in when you put the matcha in first, when you first stir it, but this is just what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's just mix as I'm gonna get it. We are going to put my ice in here. This is the milk I have right now. I usually buy regular almond milk or I get oat milk. Um, soy milk is good, but I don't drink it all the time. But use whatever you want. Pour as much milk as you want in here. I like a lot. And then you pour the matcha over it. It's gonna be really satisfying matcha. Yeah. And now you have a matcha latte by Matcha Bar. 
I also have a reusable straw. So good. I can even taste the difference like of the matcha even when I put the sugar in. Obviously without the sugar, it's gonna taste just a tad bitter, but like if that's what you want and you're looking to use less sugar in your diet or whatever in the morning or with your matcha, then don't put sugar in it and use the milk that you want. Or if you would just wanna put water in it, that's good too. You can drink this hot as well, hot, cold, whatever. This is just my first like unsweetened matcha. I bought a matcha from Trader Joe's that was really good, but there's like a ton of sugar in it, which is fine because like I like sugar in my drinks, so that's just me. But with this, like this is like pure matcha. I've seen a bunch of interviews and articles of like how these owners from Matcha Bar really like want the purest like matcha and green tea and leaves and everything. It's a good company, I like it. It's not like a scam on your sponsored ads or anything. I definitely recommend Matcha Bar, 10 out of 10. If you want matcha with sugar, just add sugar to it or use the milk that you want with the sugar in. And yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty dope. You won't be as anxious. <laughs> Drink matcha. So the other things they have on Matcha Bar, they have a bunch of other like sizes and drinks. They have the Matcha Ceremonial Grade 30 Gram Tin. They have the 80 Gram Tin. They have a 200 Gram Bag. They also have energy drinks in like a can. It shows Matcha Bar Hustle Matcha Energy Sparkling Peach 120 milligram caffeine, no sugar added. And they have that and also Lemon Lime, Mint, Berry, Mango, you can get that in a case. You can get it however you want on their website. They also have a reserve blend. I'm not too sure what the difference is with that. I think it's just the way they blend it. But my go-to is the just regular matcha grade ceremonial tin. I will have to do a review on the matcha drink in a can. It's the sparkling drink. You can subscribe to their drinks and get it like every other month for every month for whatever. Matcha bar has a lot to offer. I definitely check them out, go on Instagram, Facebook, their website, pretty dope. I would definitely switch to matcha if you're thinking about it or just try it. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching and matcha bar, please sponsor me. Leave a comment and a like and subscribe to my channel, please. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.